Hello, my groomies. Big shout out here from the Ozark Mountains. Hope everybody's doing all right. <clears throat> I haven't heard from Mars in a while, and then all of a sudden I get an email last week. I want to know if I needed anything. And I'm about to do for some new exhaust fans for either my tent or my refrigerator. I both They both are running some ancient can fans. So, uh, yeah, we're fixing to do an unboxing here. See what it looks like. Big thumbs up to Mars. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Classic box in a box. Aha! Uh -huh. One, two, three boxes in a box. We got our duct work. We got our three hose clamps. Four inch carbon filter. This controller will operate this fan kick on at certain humidity. Humidity or temperature. There's more seat metal screws in there. Comes with two straps. Intelligent fan controller user manual. There you have several options. You can hang it with the straps in your tent. Or if you have a, a wooden ceiling or a wall, you can take this off right here. Got some thumb screws on it. The fan slides out. Well, I've been needing to move my grow tent out of my main grow room. Uh, it should keep the grow tent cooler in the main room a little cooler with it out of there. So I think I'm going to clean this spot out here in my barn. It's on the north side of the building, so it ought to stay fairly cool. So uh got a couple of plug-ins here ready to go, so I'm just going to... I'm going to install my fan outside the tent, I believe. I think I'm going to screw it into that headboard there. And uh, only add vent tubes to my tent. You can take these pins off. Both of them. Even though this is riveted on here and you can spread this apart. And this center section here will pull out. And I want to mount this up here on the wall by the ceiling. I want to make sure I give a couple inches of room to slide this off, off of the flange right here. I'm just going to mark it with a marker. Also, I drew me a couple of arrows right here. So I know which way the airflow is. <clears throat> that way, I, when I take this out, I don't accidentally put it in the wrong way. Okay, guys, I got the uh, fan mounted, plugged in. And just so you know, if you don't use the sensor, it still works. It's just on full power, 100%. When you know it, I mounted the frame up backwards. So I'm going to have to put a tape over that and uh, remark it. The airflow is actually moving this direction. Say goodbye to my old cheap ass can fan. You can't complain too much though. I've had this thing for about 10 years. The fan goes and output one or two, and then the thermometer and hum humidity gauge gets plugged into the input. 
I've zip tied my temperature probe where it'll hang about even with the canopy. It's temperature slash humidity probe. And I can raise it up and down the pole as I need to. Got my fan hooked up here. My input hose is going through the top port and my tent. Very, very easy setup. Okay, guys, we got her installed. Um, this is auto mode when it says it's in auto mode. It's also where you set the limits for your auto mode. Now, this is just simply on. And you adjust your fan settings here with this button. I've got my settings on 10. The fan slowly ramps up until it gets to all the way up to 10. Whatever you have this setting at. Push it up again and go to zero. And the fan will ramp down to zero. Stop it on floor. And just however much of a breeze you want your inlet to blow down on your plants. I don't think this is going to be too strong for them. It feels pretty good suction. And I'm going to set it all the way up to 10. And I'm going to put it on auto mode. And leave her be. So I got her all set up, guys. I put my inlet here on top. Running down. Just past the light. So hopefully it'll blow over the top of the plants. Get sucked back up through the outlet. I appreciate it Mars. It's gonna work out great. Another great product from Mars Hydro. I put the links down in the description where you guys can get a good deal on a four inch inline exhaust fan for your two by two tents. You all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Smoking monkey genetics.